My name is Gary Gao, and I play the part of Jerry Brownwell. Uh, Jerry is a, uh, a product of corporate America. He got out. He was just tired of the, the manipulation and deceit involved in that life. So uh, he pursued his artistic side and, and got quite good at painting and, and, and some other types of art. Uh, actually so good that he was able to make a living at it, and uh, he speaks his mind. The movie brings up a lot of different issues, actually. Uh, one is just uh, being able to, to feel comfortable telling people how you really feel. In our society, people are offended by everything. Boy, people take that to an extreme. You know, it's one thing to be, uh, um, to watch what you say so that you don't offend people, but then it's another thing for people to be offended by every little nuance. There are a lot of different scenes that I, I really like for different reasons, you know. Um, the, uh, Right in the beginning of the movie, the fight scene. What the hell, asshole? I enjoyed the rooftop scene. It was very relaxing. It was a nice, um, you know, nice view of the skyline of Chicago. But also, the scene itself is kind of a critical scene. It it gives us a little peek into the psyche of Bobby. There are just so many talented people working on this film that it was really a joy every time I had an opportunity to work with another person. The improvisation of Steve Parks was a lot of fun. I'm just kidding you. <laughs> Dave Brannigan I really enjoyed working with as uh, Bobby's father. It was probably harder to keep a straight face doing that scene where he's just looking me over disapprovingly than any other scene. Welcome to the John Hancock building. How may I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for the big meeting at Stutter Communications. Working with the director, actually, Robert Alanese as an actor. That would be the 27th floor. 27th, great, thank uh, you. But, but sir, you have to be on the list. I was, I was pretty impressed with how he pulled off the old security guard. At the, not old security guard, I should say, the security guard. <laughs> you know, this is the sixth time I've, I've worked with Robert. For me, it just gets smoother each time because we can practically read each other's minds now, you know. As a director over these last six films, you know, each film he gets more clarity with what he's wanting. As a writer, I think he keeps improving and he knows what works, he knows what doesn't. And nobody has, has gone through life without thinking at least once, oh, I wish I had said this, I wish I had just said what I was thinking. Everybody wants to be able to do that at some point in their life. Uh, some people are lucky enough that they can say that a lot. I think as people get older, we tend to, to say more than we do when we're younger. And, um, and I think that never stops. You know, if you, ever, uh, if you ever spend any time with some really elderly folks, uh, there's nothing they won't say. They'll tell you exactly the way it is. And um, so I think there's a little something for everybody in this movie.